Ladies and gentlemen, two boxing is a hot topic in the Call of Duty community once again. So I believe that two boxing is cheating. You manipulate the matchmaking for easier lobbies. That's what VPNing, reverse boosting, and now two boxing do. But I understand why players do it, and especially creators. They get to make more videos in less time. But my main problem is that they lie and hide it. I don't understand why they just won't admit to it every video, every stream, and or just plain out don't hide it at all. If you manipulate the matchmaking in any way, you are a cheater and you deserve to be called out for it. If you are a creator who lies and tries to hide it, you deserve to be exposed because you lied hid and manipulated the viewers but let's go over what actually really happened over the past like i'd say two days now because it's absolutely insane so what basically happened is that a lot of creators were getting called out and bashed for two boxing and lying about it and a lot of them disagreed with it this whole entire two boxing is cheating conversation blew up on twitter you had creators talk about it you had multiple people talk about it we had regular players talk about it, casual players competitive players pros and all that stuff talk about it And with this conversation blowing up, a majority of the class out of a gameplay video people, people have called out like Marco Vihero, Seabass, and people Rick have called out like Frizz Eyes, all basically defended two boxing and reverse boosting and manipulating the matchmaking. On Twitter, they all did it. You can look at the replies. But other people are part of the Call of Duty community, like the snipers, the actual real content creators, search and destroy players, pro players, right? Even streamers as well. They also condemned the people that are actually two boxing and lying about doing it and a majority agreed that two boxing is cheating and they have their own dislike with people that do it and or two boxing itself but let's actually check out what the good creators said that actually disagreed with two boxing and consider it cheating and that were against two boxing itself we have fully that says two things can be true for everyone SBMM is absolute garbage. Two boxing and reverse boosting is true virgin sh It should not be normalized or accepted. I entirely disagree with this. Let's go fully, man. I just left that game because I'm not going to focus up. We got to talk about the two boxing situation. And lastly, we have Modern Warzone showing what a level one account lobby looks like. And this is how two boxing actually works. All you have to do is literally buy another console and or get another account. Never level it up. Put the worst stats on it so you get the best bot lobbies and load up with it and then make that account leave. And look at this. How is this even entertaining for anybody? Nobody, like, look at this. Nobody's sliding. Nobody's actually shooting at the person. Like, it's complete bot players who do not know how to play the game and have been protected by skill-based matchmaking. Look at this. For 15 seconds, he hasn't died. In Block Ops 6, staying alive for 15 seconds is more impressive than anything right now. Not really, but you know what I mean. Like, it is quick to die in Block Ops 6. And the fact that he's been running around these people for 15 seconds and he's not dead is crazy, bro. And let's see what the creators who defended 2-boxing actually said. So, Tasty over here says, SPMM has once again been a hot topic this weekend. The worst thing to ever happen to the Call of Duty community. I agree with that. A solution for many has been 2-boxing slash reverse boosting which has been more and more common. A lot of the creators that I've called out, the Rick has called out, that other people have called out within the Call of Duty community have all said that two boxing and reverse boosting are not the same thing. And now here we go with multiple creators who have said that it's not the same thing, defending it, bro, and talking about it, which is absolutely insane. I get why it can be frustrating for some people, but it's really not that big of a deal. A lot of people are just trying to have fun while others save a ton of time getting gameplays, clips, or whatever it might be. I get why they do it. But why do they have to lie and hide it on their streams, on videos? It just makes no sense. If you're going to cheat to get easier lobbies, just be straight up with it, bro. Because we've seen it time and time again. The people who make fake content hide what they do, lie about what they do, right? They always get hate for it. So why do you guys not expect the same type of energy when you guys are faking your videos, lying about doing it, and trying to hide it? Come on, man. Have some fucking common sense. I might be 19 years old and I've been a part of this community now for two years content wise, but I know that being straight up honest with people and being real with people will get you a lot further and it's a lot better thing to do than lying about something so little like this. It doesn't affect 100% of the people complain about it. Yes, it does. There's a reason why people are complaining about it because it affects them, bro. Oh my God. It's just insane how these creators expect the regular viewer to go out of their way to search four years ago that they did it or not bro there's already enough negativity around here i personally don't think two boxing is the problem it's the sbmm in the end of the day we all want the same thing don't hate the players hate the game well we can hate the game all we want but don't expect to not get hate for lying and trying to hide that you do it i'm not gonna lie it's all some hater type shit but you guys deserve 
whatever negativity you guys get because you guys lie and manipulate about doing it. You guys try to hide it on stream. You guys lie about doing it in videos. And when you get asked about it, you lie about that. You deserve it, bro. You deserve to get called out and exposed. The first eyes over here says you should feel this way about SBMM and not the people who manipulate it. Two boxing is irrelevant without SBMM. I agree. SBMM created two boxing and this entire problem. But the fact is, is that once again, I'm going to say it once again, you guys don't need to lie about doing it, bro. Just be straight up honest, man. And then over here, we have first eyes again, who says it's so funny seeing the exact conversation every year about SBMM around this time. Yes, Call of Duty has SBMM. Yes, you can manipulate it and get easier lobbies. I addressed it almost four years ago. Therefore, it's not a skill issue. It's more efficient and a quick way to get entertaining gameplay. I don't really see the appeal of shooting against bots who don't shoot you back as an entertaining gameplay, but go ahead. There is a genre and there are people that do enjoy that. Bottom line and point is SBMM is cancer to video games and I will continue to manipulate SBMM till it is no longer a thing. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You guys go out of your way to make all these conversations and replies and all that stuff. Why don't you just talk about it in a video and admit that you do it today and in live streams and in all your video? What is the big problem with that? What, you scared about losing viewership, bro? Like you're going to be ahead of everybody if you just admit it and have less attention on you if you just admit it. And you might be wondering what other people have been saying, like actual regular players, other streamers. Well, the community actually has gone against most of these creators that have been defending it. Some people have agreed that like, yeah, I see the reason why you do it, but why do you have to lie about it? Other people have brought up old tweets of Tasty FPS, of Frizz Eyes, old videos as well. Like Tasty FPS said in 2019, I don't care if people are reverse boosting or not, but just want to make something clear. Any clips slash nukes on reverse boosted account are not impressive in any way. If you brag about anything on reverse boosted account, you're a literal shitter. People are bringing out old tweets. People are searching the history of a lot of people defending it and it's not gonna be a good look bro once again i don't think a lot of these creators would be getting hate if they were just straight up honest bro someone replied saying once again promoting two boxing to get streamer content if you can't get good content playing against similar skilled players then you are a pro athlete going to a high school competition and gloating when you dominate pathetic like bro the call of duty community is finally waking up and like i think it's been known for years now but like i don't think we've ever seen like creators call them out and actually talk about it this much before which is honestly good to see because we need to talk about stuff like this because bro oh my god what the fuck was that this tweet i have to show like i, I gotta leave this match, bro because it's so funny this guy even though his sentences were not the best i could understand them gifted frog replied to tasty and said it's the lying to communities that I think is wrong. If you're open about two boxing, fair enough. But too many content creators have massive egos saying they're the best in the world when they two box all day on stream and think people can't see it. This is facts. A lot of the creators who do two box that lie and manipulate about doing it, they all say like, oh, look at how many views I'm getting. Look at how much money I'm making. Oh, you look how many nukes I have. Like, bro, just be straight up about doing it, man. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> Everyone has agreed that SBMM is the main problem and the main contributing factor to why people reverse boost VP at a two box and that SBMM and this whole entire conversation is dividing the community. But people have also said and agreed that it doesn't give any creator or streamer or any player the right to lie and hide that they do it. A lot of people are asking for more honesty within the community and I would like to see that as well. But man, the fact that I'd seen for the last seven months, basically, this not even be a topic, even last year, I didn't even see it explode because the biggest factor that has changed from last year or two years ago to now is that people like Frizz Eyes, like Seabass, like Mark of Hero, but those kind of creators who are defending it are all now complaining about getting backlash and or quote unquote hate when they're fully being exposed for doing it and lying about it. And I think that's all attributed to the Rick Cod. I think they're all complaining because the fact that they've been getting called out now for the last seven months by Rick and they're just mad about either losing viewers, losing subs. They're all complaining about getting backlash and hate for being exposed. I have not seen that from the past tweets that have been brought up by other people replying to them. It's making these creators get frustrated that they're getting called out for what they do. So I think as a community, if they're not going to stop lying about doing it and or they're going to keep hiding their screens live on stream, then they deserve to keep getting called out until they tell the truth every single video, every single stream, and they don't hide it anymore. But yeah, that's my entire thoughts on two boxing. It's cheating. I dislike the creators who do it and lie about doing it. And I hope something changed within the Call of Duty community because this is getting absolutely ridiculous, man. But if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Let me know in the comments below what you guys' thoughts on two boxing is. Is it cheating or not? And what are your thoughts on creators who do it? And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. We're about to hit 3,700 subs. We're on the road to 4K. 
But I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all. Peace.